welcome back. I don't know if any of you out there have a vehicle that has some sentimental value to you. For me, most of the vehicles that I have any sort of connection to are long gone. And Kara and I, we don't keep vehicles long enough to get really attached to them two or three years. But one of those vehicles is my grandpa's old Ford truck. And he passed away a few years ago. The other day I was at my grandma's house and I just decided, you know what? I, I want to buy it and luckily she was willing to sell it to me now let's go and show you the new truck I just bought what do you think Kara it'll be an adventure now I wish this was a clean one owner it's a one owner he was the original but this was his farm truck work truck it's not very clean and it's gonna take a lot of work and luckily for me I am not a mechanic. <laughs> we have a scooter sitting at the house that I tried mechanic on and it no longer works. So um, I might need a little bit of help on this one, but let's get to it and show you our new truck. A lot heavier than our lithium batteries. So here it is. This is a, I guess, looks dumb to have sunglasses on in here. <laughs> this is a 1984 Ford F-250, I believe XLT, right? Yes, XLT with the 6.9 liter diesel. It's the international. So all of you that have been telling me I need to go away from all my emission stuff on my truck, done. So no emissions on this truck. He bought it brand new. And I think it's time for me to get this running. Like I said, it's rough, but this front end, not too bad. No major dents or anything. I mean, it has some scratches and some surface stuff, but we can work on that. Coming down the side, this front quarter panel, still pretty good. Um, hasn't completely rusted out. Original wheels. Doors, still all right. I don't know. There's, like I said, it's, it's rough. When we get to the back end here though, there is not much left. Utah got to this one. I don't know if I'm gonna put a new bed on it or if I'm gonna go with a flat bed. Comment below what you think. Should I go with a flat bed or should I try to find a bed to put on this? Probably we'll need a new tailgate as well. Um, yeah, it's a farm truck but it's my farm truck. Like the other side, this back quarter panel is pretty rough. Uh, it does have the four speed transmission. My dad was saying that it has a higher rear end in it, which is nice, gives it a little bit uh, more flexibility. It comes with the tape player. I was even able to convince my grandma to leave the tape in it. And this is the best of Chris Ledoux. So, I mean, come on, right there. That's, that's just cherry. Uh, looking at the dash, it's rough. He must have been pounding the speakers way too much, or the speaker, and it's just blowing it out completely right here. Then over on this door, same thing. This is where he rested his arm for 40 years. Yeah, this is my new truck, um, and it doesn't run. I guess that's the next step is let's see if we can get this running. Luckily, I brought my great mechanic, Kara, with me, and she will do what she can <laughs> and not i'm not a mechanic either so i got some new batteries i'm sure these batteries are bad it sat here for several years the last time that it was even tried to start was before he passed away he was actually working on it and he fell i think he was doing something with batteries at least that's what i was told when he fell um so that, that's where i'm going to start all right where's the latch at All right, doesn't look as dirty as I thought it would.
One thing I guess we ought to do is probably put some fuel in it. I have no idea how old the fuel is that's in this. I mean, heck, it could be five years old. So, probably won't hurt to make some new in. Okay, do you want to hop in and try to start it and I'll spray it? Like it wanted to go over. I know what's wrong with it. It's a Ford. I tried batteries and starting fluid. <laughs> That's about the end of my mechanical abilities. We'll have to wait for Ronnie. Three days later. Well, I reached the end of my mechanical ability the other day. So, reached out to my buddy Ronnie here. He has the Do It Bro YouTube channel. Make sure you go check it out. And he thinks he can get this going. What do you think, Ronnie? I don't have much knowledge in these older diesels, but I'm not afraid to jump into it. So what we'll do is we'll go through, check the fuel system, check everything that we can check to make sure that it's the glow plugs are working correctly to make sure the fuel is pumping correctly filtered correctly and we'll just see if we can get it running and then we'll take it from there maybe we'll uh see how fast we can get it going once we get it running see if it'll do a burnout because i don't know if these diesels have a lot of power but i know they're workhorses and why not let's get it going and see what happens with it bring it back to life 180 horsepower 180 that's not bad that's not bad i think it'll do a burnout though yeah even if we have to dump clorox under the tires we'll get it to do a burnout <laughs> one way or another we'll burn it out on, in my shop though. so if you're interested in following along on the actual build and the work and all that stuff check out do it bro he's going to be posting all sorts of stuff on it because he's really the mechanic and let us know what do you think we should do with this should we do a full restoration should we just keep it as a farm truck maybe throw a flatbed on it i mean there's so many options Heck, maybe we rip it out and put a Cummins in it and see where it goes yeah. from there. So, I mean, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit, except for the wallet. So, but, but we do want to hear from you guys. We want to hear what you guys think. And and if you know a lot about these older Fords, comment. Let us know what you think and and any tricks of the trade. Yeah, suggestions are needed for sure. So, as always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all those things we're supposed to tell you to do. And as always, enjoy your weekend. Found a treasure, Reba McIntyre. Country and Western Kenny Rogers. I didn't even know he had it in here because I've never heard him play music in his truck before. That's going to have to stay in here. I know some people collect vinyl. Very few collect tapes.